And when we look back at from a diagnosis point of view, one of the key areas that's identified as challenging is social interaction. And that can be a variety of different elements with social interaction. And when we think about communication, all communication is happening in this social context, these social um, social situations that vary very much. So depending on who it is that you're communicating with. And so how you communicate, for example, with someone of your own age is different. How you communicate them with them within certain situations is different. How you communicate with someone in school is different. How you might communicate with them at herding training is different to how you might communicate with them in the playground. So these kind of, I guess, the sands are constantly shifting around social communication. How you communicate with um, an adult, um, for example, a teacher or a parent, um, a grown-up of, of some kind is different to how you're going to communicate with the peer. And again, how you communicate with that grown-up in a different setting can also influence and how familiar you are with them can also influence. There are so many, like social communication is complex and there is a lot going on. And we do um, know that for lots of autistic people, it's a challenge to pick up on those different elements of um, implicit kind of unsaid elements of social communication that are happening. Sometimes we call them these kind of rules that are part of communication. So one of the things that we can do is to um, talk about some of those things and to maybe make them more explicit. We've spoken about the, the um, use of social stories, social scripts, social narratives to support um, success in those situations, but also talking about how we act in social situations, if you think about it from the family's point of view, that you know, families can talk about um, emotions, talking about how they're feeling in particular situations, interpreting how others might be feeling, putting language and words um, on that, and um, kind of like your self-talk, you know, talk that might be happening in your mind, but making that quite explicit to support somebody to understand what you're thinking in a particular situation, to make it that bit more explicit. Um, and you know, a common misconception is that autistic people don't want to be engaged in social relationships or don't want to um, friendships, but we, we know that that's just not true. And of course, some people don't want that, just as some neurotypical people don't want that, you know, and that's fine, but, you know, lots of people do want to make friends, but making friends and engaging in those social situations can be a challenge 